fur friends. Is anybody out there looking for a new groomer? Well, I have all the questions you need to ask them, so stay tuned. So when you're looking for a groomer, there's probably not all, I'd say most people don't even ask the questions they should be asking, but if I was looking for a groomer, I would be asking questions like, is it a salon where there's multiple dogs or do you groom from home? Do you crate the dogs that you're grooming? How many dogs do you have there at one time? Does your dog have special needs and can the groomer accommodate your dog's special needs? Oh, another one is, um, this is sort of along the lines with the special needs. I have a set of stairs that the dogs have to go down. Some dogs won't do stairs. Now I have had people that say, my dog won't do the stairs, doesn't touch the stairs at home. And then I bring them in the door, the mom and dad leave and the dog runs right down the stairs. So the dog does behave differently with the groomer than it does at home because people baby their dogs and they, they behave just like a child with daycare. Um, and that's another thing, when you're dropping your dog off at the groomer, it, you need to make it quick, short, and, and no fuss at the door because that just creates more anxiety for the dog. Pricing, so that's a big one because people sometimes are shocked at how much the dog costs. Do they price per breed? Do they price by the hour? Do they price by service? Every groomer prices things differently. Um, grooming is starting to get more expensive so I think that needs to be all out on the table because I've had a couple of issues with people that get annoyed that I've put the price up five dollars so you need to get that all out in the open. Do, do the prices include tax? So is it just uh, um, one price or can it change per groom? Sometimes you take the dog in, your dog's in great shape, it's one price. The next time it comes in it's really matted, the price can change. If you're on a regular schedule, the price will probably stay more consistent. Um, does the groomer work one-on-one -on -one or does she do it, do it more like, or he do it more like an assembly line where she bathes all the dogs, then all the dogs are groomed? Are there more than, are, is there more than one groomer in the salon at one time? Um, and then another thing is you want to, you, when you bring the dog for the groom, you want to make sure that your groomer is asking you as many questions as you're asking the groomer. The groomer needs to really figure out what you want done with the dog because it's all about communication and if you're not communicating what you want with the groom, you're going to pick the dog up and you're going to be disappointed. Sometimes you don't have a choice because of the condition of the dog, but if you're communicating what length you want, I always use my fingers. I'm like, so do you want it that long left on or do you want it this much left on? So. It's because some people will say half an inch and then they'll pick the dog up and go, oh my God, that's really short. So you really need to get specifics. Um, another thing you could ask is, and this is all dependent on how many dogs, blah, 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 but how long will my dog be at your salon for? Like, can I, can I drop it off and pick it up in two hours? Or some people want you to be your ba the babysitting service, drop it off at 8.30 and pick it up at 4.30. I don't allow that. Some groomers will keep your dog and then they'll charge you a, a fee for that. So you need to get that out on the table too. And um, you need to be available when the dogs needed to be picked up. Cause some groomers like myself, I don't have anywhere to put them cause I don't create dogs. So I want the dog to be groomed and then it's less stress on the dog. The, the, the shorter the visit, then the, the person or the, the owner picks the dog up and it goes and then the next one comes in. Um, they can overlap, but, and then you need to also, um, if there are other dogs around, you need to ask, is my dog gonna be with other dogs? Well, if it's not dog friendly, you have to make sure that, they, that the groomer can accommodate that as well. Oh, um, this is more along the lines of the groomer communicating with you, but the groomer, and I know I do this, when the groomer's bathing your dog and grooming your dog, they're touching almost every inch of the dog. And I have found lumps and bumps and different skin problems that the owner had would have never seen otherwise. So just make sure that your groomer, that you have a good relationship with your groomer and that they're very, you're very open and that your groomer communicates if she ever sees, she or he ever sees anything that, that needs to be addressed. And if anyone out there has any other important questions that you could add to that list, just comment below and um, I could uh, jot those down. Another one is how far in advance do I have to book? Oh, that's a good one. Very good, Mackenzie. I know. Um, a lot of groomers will suggest to people, book your next grooming appointment before you leave. Some people like to have the entire year pre-booked 
but a lot of people leave it to the last minute and most groomers especially nowadays are booked up weeks ahead so you need to get a regular schedule going and you need to get that really important information about how far in advance you need to groom because some people and then some people will book the dog and then they'll call like three days before and say oh the dog's not ready for grooming but I honestly think you need to get your dog on a set schedule and stick to it whether the dog's hair maybe is a little bit too um, short still I would just stick to that that schedule um, I hope this video helped everyone and if you have any other questions you could add to that list that would be awesome so please like comment and subscribe and we will see you next time